Hello, I'm called Jingo Nelly. Uh, welcome back to another part of Cost of Capital. And before I begin off, I'm going to require you to subscribe and also follow what I'm pointing at because I'm already having well explained, laid down information. So today, I'm going to be starting off with the concepts used in Cost of Capital. So here we are having specific Cost of Capital, overall or weighted average Cost of Capital, uh, historical Cost of Capital, uh, future or marginal cost of capital and I'm going to be explaining each so with specific cost of capital this refers to the cost of or refers to the cost of each source of finance that a firm uses so there is a specific cost of debt specific cost of preference share capital specific cost of ordinary share capital or any other means of financing that may be employed so overall or weighted average cost of capital this refers to the average cost of uh, this refers to the average cost of all the sources of capital that a firm uses in financing its operations then with with historical cost of capital this refers to the cost of funds already being utilized in the business these funds were raised these funds are all were raised uh, sometime in the past and hence its cost being historical this cost reflects the historical condition which which exists which existed when the when these funds were raised so looking at the future or marginal cost of capital this is the cost of capital uh, this is the cost of capital of funds yet to be raised by the firm it shows the funds uh, which are being planned for so because it is a, co a cost of additional funds to be raised in the future it is also referred to as marginal cost of capital so with the sources of uh, sources of cost of capital uh, we are having the we are having uh, the sources of capital uh, being employed that is a uh, uh, debt uh, preference shares equity shares and uh, uh, retained earnings so with this we are going to look at terms to do with uh, uh, the cost of debt the cost of uh, preference shares the cost of equity shares then the cost of retained earnings so we are having other terms to look at in the cost of capital that is uh, market value so with market value what do they mean by market value in the cost of capital market value is the amount of uh, is the amount a firm is willing to sell its source of finance and with the uh, face value it is the amount of uh, it is the amount a firm has bought its source of finance so we are having another term which is a uh, uh, flotation cost so with flotation cost it is the total cost incurred by a company or a firm in offering its securities to the public for example underwriting costs um, advertising uh, brokerage etc so after you knowing that uh, i come to cost of uh, debt what does it mean this is the rate of return a firm pays on its debt so uh, debt can be redeemable or irredeemable what do they mean by irredeemable uh, redeemable debt a redeemable debt is a debt uh, which the issuer, 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 or issuer can pay off before the maturity date, or it is the date which a uh, maturity period. Uh, sorry, it is uh, or it is the date with a maturity period. For example, uh, forty years. Then uh, moving on to irredeemable date. What does it mean? Irredeemable date is the date that has no specific. Uh, redemption date or maturity period so with debt it has uh, various types of debt which include uh, uh, bank loans bonds uh, debenture so if you see these these are all debts so moving on the cost of debt is to be considered always after it has been subjected to a tax mm? i want you to note that unless the firm is Consider not to be taxed by the gov by the government. For example, some agri agriculture and research firms. So after you knowing this, that means uh, you are you are going to already subject the debt to 
uh, tax. So we're having a redeemable date. What is the formula? The formula is uh, uh, KD, which is equal to I divided by P naught times uh, brackets 1 minus T brackets. Uh, then after you getting the answer, you always multiply it with 100. So after doing that, uh, KD is the cost of debt. Then uh, I is the interest. P naught is the market value. T is the tax rate. And uh, we, we will always multiply to show a tax shield. Redeemable date. Uh, it's given by the formula this, whereby KD is equal to I plus 1 out of N brackets F naught minus P naught brackets uh, divided by a half uh, brackets F naught plus P naught uh, times the tax shield which is uh, brackets 1 minus T brackets then I always multiply it with 100 because my answer will be in percentage so whereby KD is going to be equal to cost of debt I interest P naught is going to be my market value uh, F naught is going to be my face value N is a uh, number of years to maturity T is a uh, tax rate so that is it thank you so much for watching make sure you subscribe in order to get notification to other videos